Stay out of the street, damn kids! Clear! As I was saying, you can't stop the king! He is all-powerful! What a fighting! Oh, shit! Oh my god, he defeated the dragon! No freaking way! That kid's amazing! Wow! Did you see that? The king's amazing! Maybe there's a way in through the garage, my lord! If there's a way in through the garage, the king will find it! Yes, only the king can find the secret way in through the garage! If, I mean, if there is one! Yes! Only the king with his infinite wisdom and strength can get past this impassable barrier! Well, King Douchebag is such a skillful warrior! Did you see how he moved that ladder and used it to climb up? He truly is the most powerful king in all the realms. Holy fuck, he's amazing. I thought the king was going to do a sweet jump, but then he just did that. You're dead! <laughs> Speak, Bard! What happened to the Stick of Truth? The wizard had it thrown into the ocean! Lies! You shall feel the wrath of the Moorish! Unhand him, you heathens! Release the Bard or you'll have the king to deal with! The king? They say he can slay a dragon with one blow! That's right! And if you don't... Uh, wait, wait, whoa, where is the wizard? Uh, I thought he was with you guys. Now we got a distress signal to come help him here. <laughs> The wizard is gone! My name is the Coon. I'm from the future. Dude, we said we're not playing that anymore. Yeah, we're all split up. What's the point? This is the point! In my time, there is a massive crime wave and missing cats. I knew my only hope was to assemble the team. Hey, you can't switch games like this. Where's the stick of truth? Shut up, Kevin. This isn't about some dumb stick. There's a cat in trouble, and it's the key to finding the crime syndicate new to our town. In the future. Crime syndicate? That... That sounds too heavy for Coon and friends. Well, what do you want, Clyde? You want the fucking Freedom Pals to find the missing cat? Get the $100 reward and make their superhero franchise more popular? Fuck the Freedom Pals, dude. That's right. Poopsikins, there's a loud ringing coming from your basement playroom. The Coon Alert. Come on, Coon friends. Go get your stuff and report back to the Coon Lair. In the future, Coon and friends assemble. Sorry, guys, you can't play with us. We're playing superheroes now, and you guys are dorks. Well, nothing left to do but go home and play Star Trek Bridge Crew. Maybe we can play our own game. Like, um, oh, I, I don't know. I've been thinking about joining a gang. This might be just the kick in the pants I need. Oh, hello. The boys are down in their little basement playroom.
Yes, officer, somebody appears to have put lava in front of my door. Well, no, it's not hot, but my son told me I will burn to death if I try and cross it. Uh-huh. Oh, yes, he did tell Fuck. me that if I step on a crack, you. it would break my mother's back. Mom. It won't. Maybe we should go to Raisins and see if the waitresses know anything. That's not enough, Mosquito. We have to act fast before the Freedom Pals can. A hundred dollar reward. Do you know what that could mean to our superhero franchise? That cat looks pretty old. Maybe it just died in the gutter somewhere. Human Kite, do I have to remind you that as of right now, Freedom Pals have a hundred followers on Instagram? We have six. The five of us and Billy Turner, who's a ginger. This is the key to finally beating those fuckers. But where do we start looking? That cat could be anyway. We need to split up. Mosquito, take to the air and check out all the city parks. You got it. Mosquito away. <laughs> Human kite, see if the cat is stuck up a tree somewhere. You've got the storm drain, Super Craig. Woo! Super Craig! Fast pass, I need you to use your superhuman speed to get to the mayor's office and tell her we're on the case. Don't worry, Coon. You can count on fast pass to get there fast. Excuse me. Hey! Do not touch that! That device can blow up the entire Milky Way galaxy! Jesus, fuck! Mom! The new kid is trying to play with the cube of ultimate destruction! You be nice to all your friends, Eric. Be a good sharer. Good sharer? It'll blow up the fucking galaxies! Stupid bitch! Look, dude, we already told you, you can't play. You aren't a superhero. You don't have a costume. You don't have any superpowers. Uh, all right, look, you can watch us play superheroes as long as you don't get in the way. Make yourself useful. Go grab me the Stephanasy device. It's over there. Well, that took long enough. Stephanasy device active. <laughs> You really want to be a superhero, huh? Play with the big boys? <sighs> well, maybe. Maybe you can be useful. Have a seat at the table, douchebag. 
Let's see, mosquitoes, ABLs. Jesus Christ, are these even in a human language? All right, in order to play superheroes, you have to have a superhero persona. Then you can fill out your character sheet on Coonstagram. Do you have a Coonstagram page? Oh boy, you're not even on Coonstagram, huh? Well, I guess I can create one for you. Fucking unbelievable, let's see. So the first thing we need to fill out on your character sheet is your class. You know, what kind of superhero are you? Since you're a newbie, you can only choose between three for now. Brutalist. Speedster. Blaster. A blaster with range powers like Cyclops. Okay, douchebag, but now, we need to find out what terrible thing in your past drives you. You see, douche, all superheroes have a compelling backstory. It's from that backstory that their powers gain meaning. Let's take you back to when you were just a child. You lay awake that night. Like so many other nights, you couldn't sleep because you knew you weren't like the other kids. You walked to the mirror. You looked in the mirror and you felt alone. And that's when it happened. A loud noise. You swore you could hear your mother calling for help. You left your room. Out in the hallway, you saw two intruders in front of your parents' door. You had to stop them from hurting your parents. You knew you had the power to stop them. So for the first time, you called upon your blaster powers. As a blazing blaster hero, you began to overheat as the fire in your belly ignited. You wasted no time delivering sick burns into the villains before you. You fried the bad guy! As the flames cleared, the intruders realized what they were up against. Shit! This little flamer means business! Didn't your mom tell you not to play with fire? The intruders moved in to attack! You've left us no choice, kid! Ha, ha, ha. With the enemies closing in, you gave yourself some space by knocking your foes back! But the intruders wouldn't take getting pushed around lightly. Hey, you can't push us around like that! <laughs> Little did they know, they set themselves up for destruction. So much range. I'll just get out of the way. His comrade fallen, the extra ugly one closed in. Not so hot now, you little flamer. Yeah, we showed him. You were gravely injured, but the intruder's blows only awakened the fires that burned within you. You swallowed the pain and unleashed your ultimate attack! And so you beat them! All seemed to be okay! But then you finally reached your parents' door. And what you saw when you opened that door changed your life forever and led you to fighting crime. You were too late, because when you opened that door you saw... You saw your dad fuck your mom.